Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV, and I'm gonna do a video today on how to replace the um, board, the main board on an X10 uh, Express. So here's what we've got. We've got our X10 Express right here, uh, and we are going to replace the internal board on it. I'm trying to see, see, I know I have this other piece here, at least I thought I did, but anyways. Um, so what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna end up having to remove the back of the uh, controller. We're gonna move this back plastic piece right here and we're going to replace it. We're gonna put this board on. Now, I'm trying to see because I like to have these and I don't know if I have another one here. Let me see if I can maybe find one. Yep, perfect. Okay, so I've got it here. So one of the things that you wanna do, if you can, is make sure you protect the radio by putting those on get some tape now. Basically what you want to do is you want to tape that around if you can uh, and you're only going to be able to tape it so far because of the fact that you have to um, so I'm going to try to tape it this way actually uh, let me see because I've got to take that piece off so actually no, never mind. I'll just go like this all right let's do this let's do this and hold that down try to keep those as best as we can from moving because we're going to lay this plate we're going to lay this plate on, i mean this uh transmitter on its face right like that and we don't want those sticks to be jamming you know like jammed in and pushed in real hard so anyways that's the first thing next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the um the uh we can remove the batteries but we're going to remove the plate uh the screws i mean and uh let's see he's got i don't know if i can take that out but i just want to get the the battery out so let me, well, I'm using a kind of a the wrong tool for this but I would just like to there we go so let's get those batteries out put those aside I think that I'll just leave that in there I don't really I'm not really worried about that piece right now um, all right uh, okay so anyway so that's gonna be step one just getting it ready now, let me see if I have the screwdriver I want to use. I think this one will be perfect, yep. So we're gonna take out these screws here, okay? And we're gonna place them in this little spot. Oh, I don't know. I'll just place them right up here. You can't see that because I think it's my ugly face is behind it. I'm covering that spot. The screwdriver's gonna be too big. Let me see if I've got another one that I wouldn't be using that might fit. Yeah, that's too big. I have a good one that I like, but I don't know where it has gone. Hmm. So let's see if I can use this one. There we go. There we go. All right, make sure to take these screws, put them aside. Okay, they're going to go over here. And then what we want to do, and I'm trying to remember on this particular model, um, we don't have to peel the rubber pieces off on the side. This just should lift up. Pretty simple, just like that, okay? What we want to do now is keep track of everything else. Now, looking at this right off the bat, wow, look at that. So, so you've got some cut uh, outer wiring here, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. It doesn't look like it got down to the... Um, uh, wire just through some of the silicone covering. Okay, so then we've got four screws here that we need to remove. Ah, that screwdriver's not going to work for that, so now I may go back to my trusty favorite one here. There we go. So you'll set these four screws aside. These are going to be shorter. And I guess what I can do is, if you guys can see this side, I'm going to put these screws over here and put them in order as they're removed so that you know go backwards when you put them back, right? That's the simple way to do things so that you're not vacuuming up screws later thinking uh oh all right so we're gonna get these four screws out which hold the tray in okay there's that then we're gonna unplug the tray from the main board here and be careful when you do this guys because it is easy to pull one of these wires out. So just, just like that, okay? Now put the tray aside. All right, 
So now we're here at the main board, okay? And there have been version revisions on this board. So let me open this one because there's a chance that on this one, there will not be a wire needed to plug in for that antenna, but I wanna verify that. So yeah, the new version does not have this. It's actually already built in, so it's not needed. And we checked with FreeSky on this already and they did verify that. So uh, this will not be used on the new version, which is fine, we can deal with that in a second. Let's go ahead and get ready to take the ribbon cable out. So you'll flip this piece up and you'll just gently pull that cable out. Just leave it like that. Don't do anything to kink it. Okay, so on this point here, um, it's your option. I'm gonna take the, the, the plug out from this side. Uh, actually, it doesn't really matter. I think on this one, we'll go take it from here. These are real easy to remove. Some of these can be hard to remove. And then we've got these plugs here. And if you'll please pay attention, you'll notice that they tuck in to these little uh, indention clips right here. Wanna make sure you put those wires back and also pay attention to right here where your, um, uh, where the uh, little motor goes for the uh, vibrations, the hap what is it called, haptic, I think. Uh, vibration, whatever that is. Anyway, so gently pull these out. All right, and just kind of leave them in that vicinity. Same on this side, gently pull them out. Okay, right. That pretty much does it for all the wiring. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna remove the next, let me see, they got one, two, three, uh, four, five. It looks like five, there's not one in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, looks like five screws. So we're gonna do that. And one thing I do wanna say is before you pull this out, uh, take out the memory card, please because in some cases it'll get stuck in there and then you'll break off. Uh, you can break the memory card. All right, so this is gonna be the next uh, row that we're gonna put these screws in. That'll be the third step. So we're gonna start with these when we put this back. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Okay, now the board should easily lift up. I think I've disconnected all of them. I don't see anything else. Let me just make sure I've got everything pulled off that I need. I don't see any other. There we go. And you can peel this antenna off. If you're going to this new board, let's see, what am I? down here this is disconnected okay so what I want you to be careful of and be very cautious of is once you pull this up to here okay what you're gonna see inside I'm gonna try to flip this over for you like this what you're gonna see here is the LCD screen connection all right so before you go and pull this like crazy just tilt it forward like that okay lean it back now you can take the LCD screen out if you want, just like this, all right? Um, if you feel like, you know, that's the only way, the easier way to do it. But what you gotta do is you have to make sure that you disconnect this right here. So lift that up, there you go, and now you're done. So this board is out. Uh, we're gonna take the battery, because we know the battery's good and the new boards don't come with a battery. So let me take this battery out, which I think really, I mean, part of it sucks because you really have to get into this thing to change this battery it still has a charge so uh, all right we're gonna put that back in all right guys so sorry i had a call come in um a couple things i wanted to point out ahead of time sorry i had a call come in so i had to stop the video and now we're restarting it let me put a few things aside real quickly to show you uh one thing i didn't mention ahead of time so before we go put this back in one thing let me take my watch off one thing i do want to explain is on this old board is going to be this piece as well this is basically with the spacer that goes between the board and the screen uh, the way this is going to go on, all right, so you're going to be putting your board in uh, like this with the, you've got, your, uh, you've got your plugs here and you've got your memory card here. Uh, this plastic piece is actually going to go just like this, all right? Um, actually, it's going to go like this, sorry. Uh, and the way you can tell if it's put in the right way is you're going to have these ridges right here, okay? And that goes towards the back. To, uh, so it's, those ridges are going to be this, on the same side as your um, SD card, all right? And the two holes that are going to get screws here are going to be the two gold holes, right? And I think I only told you to take five screws out, one, two, three, and it's actually six. 
but two I took this one I didn't see this one out but anyways these two with the thinner holes that's where you're gonna put the screws back in all right so this would go in like this and this would go in here to hold this plastic piece in place but before we do anything we need to get the ribbon in first so here's how we're gonna do that here's the new board we've got the screen already plugged in now this rubber piece right here we're gonna go ahead and lay that into the radio right now because it's a lot easier to do this once it's in the radio so make sure that's in place properly just like that all right then we're going to take the screen itself and the board and you're just going to gently let me bring this radio over here you're going to gently put the screen in don't let too much separation from that cable because that ribbon cable can tear very easily just lay the screen in and get it into that rubber uh, frame okay and just kind of press it in place if you can and just work it around because that rubber frame is going to bend a little bit. I mean, it's going to it's going to move around. It's a silicone or rubber, whatever it is. Uh, so it just kind of gets this to sit in place uh, without pulling on the board too much because you don't want to separate that cable, right? As a matter of fact, if you want, you can easily just disconnect the cable for now if you want. Some people, I like to do it, but I'll do it both ways depending on if I'm if it's a hard time or not. What you want to do is you want to flip it over. Make sure that that screen is in there all the way and you can check the edges, make sure it looks good and it does. There, the screen is in, okay? So now what we have to do is we have to get the cable put back into the board and you may find it easier to disconnect the screen from the board, but then getting this part to go is a little bit harder because you have less room to work with the cable, but we're gonna do it this way anyway, just so that I can show you how this goes. Okay, so once you, you will get the cable, I'll see if I can tilt this back a little bit so you can see, let me put something under it, there we go. So once you get that in there, just go ahead and work the, um, work this cable and you can use your tweezers or whatever just to kind of line it up make sure that tab is in there just like that and once it gets in there uh, let me see make sure this is in all the way once it's in there way fold that fold that piece down oh i gotta get let me get this up first here we go there we go all right once we get that tab in there snap that piece down just like that uh, sorry i'm missing it here all right. This can be a little, I'm telling you, it's a little bit of a pain. When you try to do it once the radio is in, or once the screen is in, it's a little bit more of a pain. There, let me see if I can get it this way. I may take the screen out so I can get this. Oh, there we go. Okay, finally, on the last try. I got it. I was about to give up. Once you get it in like that, all right, it's in. Now you can take your protective piece here, and you'll basically, it's going to kind of snap into place. Just make sure you have the ridges, these ridges, because it's smooth on one side except for these bumps where the screws go, and it's got these ridges on the other side. Make sure you have the ridges. Uh, um, let me see. Uh, let's see we're gonna put this just like this here now in some cases you can take the ribbon and put it on the other side if you want which is why they have that opening it doesn't really make a difference on this case so I'm just gonna put this back down just like that all right and we're going to pop this back into place and so what you can do here is you can um, you can take the screws here if I can get to them And you can screw in the first one if you get it lined up screw in the first screw so it holds the tray in place it'll be a little tricky but there you go all right that one's in place and you take the second screw you can screw in the second side here if you want just like that okay and then this board will go right back into place make sure all your wires are clear okay and this board will go right back into place just like that okay so now you've got the two screws back in holding the spacer if you flip this over you can see the screens back in place with no problems everything looks good okay now we're gonna go and put the last four screws back in which go in these silver or which go in these uh, these gold circles right here that have the thicker gold uh, perimeter uh, outline as well. So we're going to put one here. 
And please make sure you have all your wires out of the way because if you put these in and you start tightening it down the wires in there, you can crimp and cut the wire. So there's one, two, third and then where is my it's MIA for some reason I must have hit it when I was lifting everything so I will get that in just a second but right now what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead well one two uh, let me see where did I put that last one mm -mm -mm. oh it's right here on the table it was just it jumped over to the next tray so but this one right one, two three four five and where is I hate when I try to find this stuff and I can't find it oh it's right here it's right under the motor here so six all right so let's put that in perfect now go ahead and start plugging our wires back in there's one there's one Okay, I'm gonna put our ribbon back in here, just carefully, just like the other one. Lift this uh, brown tab up, or dark black to whatever it is, black or dark brown tab up. Slide the cable in, make sure it's in all the way, and then cramp it back down, cr clamp it back down. It should be good. Let me make sure I get that in all the way. I use my tweezers here just to feed it. There we go. Okay, now it's time to put the wires back in. These wires, and don't forget, we're going to keep them out of the way by using these slots right here uh, when necessary. So we're going to take this one here. We're going to turn it around and plug this right into here. Okay. Take this one here, turn it around, and plug it right into here. Just like that. Tuck the wires away so that when you close the radio, nothing's getting uh, pinched. Let me tuck these in a little bit better here. go push those down these ones don't fit in there and then we're going to do the side now so we have our motor don't forget that we have to put down and then we have let's put this here for our speaker okay then the big set of wires and the smaller set of wires just like the other side those into these little holders here just like that and remember these ones don't fit in the holders they're pretty tight there's about as much room as you can get and something to note as well please just take note of this is that these are all reversed so these wires will have the openings facing towards you these wires will have the solid facing towards you and the opening where the tabs are facing the other way it's basically a, a flip so remember that these are going to go in um, different ways uh, so that pretty much does this part that's it uh, so we've put the stuff. So now all we need to do is put our motor down. Okay, make sure it's got it's free to not hit the wires there. All right, should be okay. There's that. That is pretty much it. Your board's in. Everything's in. So before you go crazy here and close everything up 100%. Let's go ahead and we'll take our, we still have to put this in by the way, but we'll take our battery here before we close everything up and we'll test it. So let's put this last piece on, okay? And this is gonna plug in right to here. So go ahead and plug your wire in. Your wire harness that is, there you go. Lay this down. Place it over those screw holes that are there. Go ahead and put these on. One, two, three, and four. Okay, everything else is good. Uh, like I said, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, plug the batteries in.
Excellent. Everything's starting up good. Let me plug this in, by the way. I forgot. Okay. The auto warning. Okay. All right. And then one of the things that, one of the, the reason this was in here actually is because the uh, turn dial stopped working. And I know that's laying here somewhere. It's right here. So we're going to go ahead and put this on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Perfect. This is working great. Look at that. Everything works great. I mean, extremely, extremely happy with this now. Okay, so with it working, we're going to go ahead now. This is not the firmware that was on here, so we're going to definitely have to uh, flash this because the gentleman, he was running uh, Edge. I put on Open, uh, and uh, this has now the FreeSky OS on it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take his batteries, set them in, make sure the wires are out of the way. So we have no more stress put on those. And then we're going to take the back of the radio, make sure everything is clear, and make sure we put this motor back down. Okay, this is the weirdest part is that I, I don't know how FreeSky gets it to stay sometimes because these things, they're not glued down. I would rather see them glued down. As a matter of fact, I may glue this one down if I can't because it just moves. And I don't know, understand why, but let me just see. If I can get it to sit, that should probably be okay. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this here, get everything situated, get the battery pack to fit while we close this up. Now, I could probably take this battery pack out if needed. I'm not sure if you can. I don't know. That's actually something I'd like to try. So let's just try that because I don't like crushing that in there like that. So let's do this. Okay. Let's see, does this fit? It does fit. So that's fine. So I'm going to take the battery pack out. Um, I, I'm seeing right here that I'm not able to close it. it's not snapping properly so there must there may be something blocking whatever you do don't crank down on it just lift this back up and see because if I do have a wire in there I'm going to want to catch it and not mess with it so I have uh, some problem right about here I don't see anything that would be causing it to have a problem but just in case let me pull some of this wire through Make sure that this is tucked down pretty good. This is still tucked down good. All right, let's try it again. And this time I'll open this back and I'll open this just to make sure everything's fitting properly. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so I can see it's right here. See that right there? We've got a little bit of that wire still in the way. So I'm gonna pull this back off real quick and I'm gonna tuck that wire. So what's happened is that wire's fallen on the outside and I need it to be on the inside. Okay, it's just something I didn't catch when I first put this back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that you do that. All right, guys, now look. I get people can edit their videos all day long and, and, and basically like, oh yeah, we don't make mistakes. Oh no. Mistakes happen, guys, and, and it's better for you to see them, me do them, like make little errors like that where I forgot to put those wires back in, then you do it and crank down on this thing and rip the wire, okay? Now, now that I'm seeing that's in there, this should go back on, hopefully, with no problem, unless I've missed something else. So let's just get this line. I don't know why I always line this up like it's the hardest thing on earth here. Let, let's just see if I can line it back up. This side is lined up. I got to get these pins. That's the thing. I don't want to bend the pins. There we go. Now, let's see. Uh, you see, and with the wire moved, okay, now wait a minute, what's on this side? Oh, nothing. See, with the wire moved, it went in easy. So don't fight it, don't force it, because it should, be, it should go in very easy. Always make sure you take this off, by the way, because I see people bend these pins, and you don't want to do that. So that lines up good, there we go. So now, before I put anything else back in, I'm gonna go ahead and close up uh, the, put the screws in, close everything up. Okay, there's one. Two. We'll go ahead and power on my computer while I'm at it. Three, and then the last screw right here. So you have 
four screws on the outside, four screws on the battery plate, and then you have six total screws on the main board, of which two are holding the uh, spacer between the board and the screen. There you go. Once you've got your screws in, look all the way around, everything looks good. Go ahead and put your plate back on. And you can go ahead and put your batteries in now. That's what I'm gonna do here. Pop that in. And you, gotta, you cannot have fat fingers when you're doing this, I guess. You can try to use this with the tweezers, maybe. Go. Plug that in. Gently put these in. Do not pinch the battery cables. Should sit just like that. Close this back up. Turn it over. And now you can peel off all the things here. Now what we have to do is we have to do the um, the firmware. Okay, so. Uh, if you want to keep watching this video, this part's done, but we need to do the firmware now. So I'm going to log into my computer. That'll that'll be the end of it for this part. So now, and I've already I already flashed this firmware once on this board. So I'm just going to do it again, um, and you guys will see uh, what's going on here. Okay. So all right, throttle warning. Yeah. Okay. So let me log into my computer, and like I said, if you guys are done, if you guys don't need to see this, then uh, that's pretty much does it uh, for this portion. Now let me just go ahead and do the OpenTX part. So this memory stick here has the OpenTX set up on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna power this down. Uh, go over here, hit enter, okay. And I'm gonna share my computer screen here so you can see what I'm doing on this side. So give, give me a second, let me get my mouse to catch up. This stupid mouse, I need to get something better. This thing is terrible. Uh, I'm gonna open OpenTX. So if you've got OpenTX, great, you can follow along. If not, you're gonna find this kind of to be a bit of a pain in the butt, but oh well. Um, all right. So all I'm gonna do, and as you can see, uh, let me give you the screen. Oops, wrong screen. So, there we go. Okay. All right, so we are getting ready to do the upgrade. So what we're going to do is with our uh, radio off here, let me see where I'm at. Um, I'm going to turn this around. I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm not going to get into any kind of bootloader mode or anything like that. I'm basically just going to plug the radio in just like this. Okay, my computer is going to detect it, and hopefully my mouse is going to work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my, I mean, I'm, I've, done, I've got videos on this, so if you need help with this, you can go to our website and find it. But basically, I've got my X10 Express uh, set up here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the firmware to the bootloader here. So I'm going to click write firmware to radio. And this is the new firmware that's come out. So I'm going to click uh, write to TX. Let me do this here real quick. There we go. And it should start writing. And it's going to take a little bit of time. But we basically want to write over the bootloader. And I'm going to put something down here. Well, actually, I can just leave it like that. I can stand this up. It's not like there's anything on the screen. second there it's gonna keep going Just give it a minute guys it does take a little while so I'm just gonna let it sit there I'm not gonna modify this um, let me just get this going we'll be done in just a minute
All right, so we're at what, 96, 97, 98. This smells sucks, man. Okay, 100%. Let's get my mouse to work, click close. Now let me see if I unplug this. Okay. I'm gonna put the memory card in that I had. I'm surprised it's taking that long. I don't remember it taking that long. Okay. Now let's see, because if I can get it to pull up the memory card, then we should be good. Let's just see what happens. Okay, there's the memory card. Excellent. Okay, and then there's the X10E. So yeah, I guess I need the memory card in it. Um, all right, so now let's go and do it. Ah, uh, you see, that's all it was. Put the memory card in and everything's okay. <sighs> all right, wait for this to be done. Don't worry about that message, that's normal. Click close, do a safe eject. And now we're gonna go to exit. Welcome to OpenTX. And looky there. Switch warning. And there we go. We're ready to go. Everything works, we can hit system. All the dials are working perfectly. Everything is back to normal. So we're perfect. All right, so that's it guys. We got, a, we got the board installed, we got everything done. Uh, so everything here should be good. Uh, we can go to our uh, page, page, change the date here to, what are we, 2022, we are March 29th, it is 11, 40, And let's just see, mode two, RT, okay, everything else looks gorgeous. Okay, and if we go to the model, and we go look at what options we have for internal, turn it on, we got ISRM ready to go. Uh, perfect, everything looks great here. Yep, and that's it. All right, so I'm gonna shut this down, and uh, we're done. Okay, so at this point, guys, that pretty much does it. So that is the changing of the board, the upgrading of the firmware to get it back to normal to where the customer wanted it. And now it's going to be packed up and shipped back. All right, so to my customer, Lynn, I hope you enjoy this radio. It's in perfect shape here and ready to go. Uh, to everybody else, guys, God bless. Be safe. Most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Why do I look so short? Well, I guess I am short. Mm, set up. Anyways, uh, and uh, please, please, as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate it. I like to brag to my kids. Uh, my, I have one that's a super streamer. And uh, he's like, man, he's, I don't know, he's going to become a world champion gamer, I think. Um, and so it matters to him, too. He likes to see that. Anyways, uh, everybody else, God bless. Be safe, guys. And if you need anything, just let me know. Talk to you soon. Peace.